He nearly did it. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, <laughs> welcome. Um, that was Phil sticking his thumb up to tell me that he'd gone live, but we'd gone live. But the thing is, he'd stuck it up a little bit too prematurely. <laughs> So, right, thank you for joining us this week. Okay, we're going to start off. Um, I'm going to show you how I make the um, the U-shaped tip that I normally use, uh, I favour. So, if, so if you don't mind taking me over to the other camera, please. Well, there you go. Thank you. So, we just got a piece of wire, actually. What I'll do is I'll, I'll zoom that in a little bit. Okay, so we just got a piece of wire. Now, every week so far, we have been using the... Um, spoon shader so what I'm going to do is just going to take that out because we need to do um quite a bit of blending with this fur because it still looks very bitty everywhere so we're going to do a lot of blending um just pop that up there for a second so what I've got here is just the wire that comes with Smooth. these machines oh a little bit that bit there that'd be better okay so I'm going to take um a section it's going to be a little bit too big but doesn't really matter i'd rather have too much than not enough so i'm just going to cut a section of wire off there what's say that's about two two and a half inches something like that maybe three so what we're going to do is just pop that into the little gadgety thing in there i don't know what it's called coupling maybe so that is there sticking out nice and straight um and what i'm going to do is just this is really hard to try and do this on camera so everybody can see but um oh actually maybe that way so if we go there i'm going to bend it over like that and then we're going to do exactly the same for that side there and bring that down now what we've done here is made there's a lot of focusing on that there you go oh, got it. there if what we've done is just made like um a rounded square shape that's still there we go what we've done is made like a rounded square shape so all i'm going to do is cut off a little bit of this Of these pliers here. Just wiggle that bit off. What I'm going to do is just poke that down into the second coupling. Now, I get asked a lot about this tip, and it is just literally that simple to make, but it is what I use a lot for. Um, hair a and lot, fur. Yeah, hair and fur. It's just because it's got a nice wide shader across there so we can have that flat on the wood and shading but then we can actually turn it over on its side and we've got fur and a bit, bit more detail what i'm going to do is yeah i know we can talk in a minute just give me a second i'm just going to square off so what i've done is gone slightly squarer there so I've gone slightly square on this side here. You see that better there? That's better. So that's slightly squarer, and that's that corner there on the left is slightly rounder. Now that is just simply so I can get a little bit more details with that square side. Okay. So that Wayne was asking if uh, the rounded square shapes a technical term. Um. Yeah, it's my technical term, Wayne. <laughs> if you can find a better one for it, mate, then uh, please be my guest. <laughs> So, yeah, that is basically that tip. And I've got this on a three and a half. Now, this wire heats up quite quickly because I think that's a 25 gauge that comes with the, 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 the these particular machines. So, you can it's starting to heat up now. So I'm going to get on and I'm going to start with some fur down the bottom, which means I need my other piece of wood, don't I? So if I take that out, put that in. So we haven't done any fur on the chest yet. So we're just going to start with some fur on this chest um, a little bit. 
and then we'll move over the face. So, over to you, Phil. Well, joining us this afternoon is Wayne from Bigfoot Woodcraft and Auntie Valerie. Hi, Wayne. Hi, Valerie. Andrew from AGK Woodworks. Hi, Andrew. Huey Lionheart. Hi. Keep it classy, Huey. mate. Or should we say keep it classy, Kez in this one, isn't it? No, it's not. Uh, Lucy Bundy Rowe. Hi, Lucy. Um, that has all joined us up to date. Nice. I hope everybody's doing okay. Nice short list for me. <laughs> <laughs> so, just with this tip, it's quite, it blends quite a bit, which is one of the reasons why I use it um, quite a lot. Or lose it. This is, this is so we're just going to blend in the fur underneath the chin on the chest. Still being careful of which way it goes, actually. This goes like that a bit, doesn't it? And then comes in around like that. So if I make sure follow that direction well, Andrew says hashtag Kez needs to keep it classy uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not that bad surely surely you've heard worse All right, so there we go I've got me lines in So just and what I'm doing is I'm using the rounded corner at the moment rather than the square corner because I want the shading in rather than the details at the moment. And then here he says classy mode engaged. <laughs> Mine's engaged as well, mate. <sighs> she thinks. Yes. She'll slide. The button just pops up every now and again. You just can't help it. <laughs> It's all them barmaid years. Huey uh, says, of course the bird worth the know me. <laughs> there we go then. So just as you can see, it's starting to can you see the, the thicker line slightly? You just Yeah, Lucy says uh, sugar and classy are pop uh, pol polar opposites. <laughs> And Alex, uh, the wood budgers joined us. Hi, Alex. Uh, there we go. Just putting, laying down the foundations of this. As you can see, it goes in light, but it goes in quite thick and smooth. Um, the burns do on this bit. So it's actually really, this, this is actually one of my favorite tips to use because it's just so versatile and I actually made it by an accident but it works so I'm not going to fix what is not broken so it's going with the direction of the fur as always this bit here is quite a bit darker under here so we're going to burn that a bit darker I did have some um, little stories to tell everybody but you've forgotten <laughs> exactly <laughs> my brain's forgotten and I'm surprise, so sorry surprise surprise yeah <laughs> I'm terrible then viewed from cleaning the air airbrush earlier. Yeah. Well, I'm actually sat in my um, apron because I've just come from. Uh, I've been power carving two guinea pigs of all things. So um, I'm actually still sat in my apron from doing that. I've got to paint them next. Unfortunately, I can't show you what they are because they're uh, a gift from someone to someone. Um, 
Yeah. Rob from Copper Isle Wood Tony joined us. Hi Rob. It's just one of those um it's that time of year, isn't it, when everybody's wanting gifts and stuff like that for people. So So just getting these bits in here. Uh, the fur carries on going that direction, so we're just going to roll with it. Just laying it down. It's hard not to turn this piece of wood round. So just going in the direction, laying it down. So it's a little bit darker here. So we're going to carry on going a little bit darker. Don't ever be afraid to go um, too dark on your wood burnings because you find that um, if you don't go dark enough on your dark sections, all your mid-tones and your light tones end up a little bit lighter and they, they always look a little bit weird. A little bit washed out. Yeah, it does. It looks as if somebody's put it on and it's either sun bleached it or somebody sanded it off or tried to sand it off and it's left, you know, a, a stain or something behind. Um, so, yeah, don't, don't ever be afraid to go darker because, let, let's face it, what's the worst that can happen? Well, Alex was wondering if they do a burn by numbers. Um, <laughs> should, we, should we try it one day? <laughs> New product. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're giving him an idea now, Alex. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I suppose you'd do it with your log burner, couldn't you? That bit's going to get burnt first. That one's going to get burnt second. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Wayne says they do. You see the numbers on the side of sun creams. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that one's going to send you red. That one's going to send you slightly less red. And that one's going to send you pink. <laughs> Or in your case, they'll all send you red. Yeah, yeah, they all send me red. No matter what some sun cream I use. I always look like a lobster. And then I'm white again the next day. That's where Sam gets it from, I noticed. So, let, me, um, let me move that, move that down a little bit. Cool plan. Because we've got this bit here to do, which is actually quite dark. So, and Wade the Woodturn has joined us. Afternoon, Wade. Hey, up, Wayne. How are you doing? Did your shop duty the other week go okay? And Dewey's Shed's joined us. Good afternoon, Dewey. Hi. So I'm just filling in this bit here. So this bit's actually quite a bit dark. What I'm going to do is turn this up to a number four. I was on three and a half. I turned it up to a number four. And we're just going to do some circular motions with this bit here just to get this darker section in um, wayne says no cares very quiet no sales oh that's a shame that's a shame hopefully next time For those that have only just joined us, Kez is using a different tip today. Yes, I am. Um, it's just a rounded U-shape type tip. No, there's no technical term for it. It's just one that I've made. Um, it is in the beginning of the video as to how I've done it. I do show you how to do it. So if you're interested, it's at the beginning of the video. So 
just got this on. Uh, we've still got this machine on number four, and we're just getting these darker sections in between the ear and. <laughs> Drew the, says it's a classy tip. It's a classy tip. <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah, I won't go there. I'll have a drink. <laughs> You lot are just as bad as me. So just going backwards and forwards with this. Just to get the darkness in there. Hashtag Shug's fault. Is it Shug's fault, is it? It's always Shug's fault. Yeah, it's your fault, Shug. All yours. So, when you're using this tip, you do have to move pretty fast because it is just a thin piece of wire and it will scorch the wood if you leave it in one place more than a few seconds. So if you do decide to make this tip, then just 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 be warned that you do have to keep it moving. There we go. Get it plotted in there. <laughs> What are you giggling at now? Huey says, very classy. You should stick out your pinky finger like an aristocrat. Okay. It's good. <laughs> <laughs> Is it good enough for you, Huey? Because really I don't, I don't normally stick out my pinky finger for uh, doing this. But you know when I'm using the um, the Dremel and the rotary tool and doing the carving and stuff, I always stick out my finger. You obviously think your Dremel's more classy than you. <laughs> no, we're just bracing the tool. <laughs> There we go, it's getting in there nicely now. I like this tip as well because I can work pretty fast with it. <laughs> there we go. So that bit's there. So that is actually still a little bit darker, so I'm just going to go over again. <laughs> Trying to follow the direction of the fur. I just realised we haven't got a picture up today. Uh, oh, okay. Mm. You, the one that you've got is just a cut off head, though, isn't it? Mm. <clears throat> oh, I've got to move because that. Picture's going there. I have to move that over there. Look. Yeah, you're right. I'm, I got it. I'm playing. He's trying to put a picture up. Well, he's not trying. He is putting a picture up. There you go. There we go. He was late to the party today, folks. Yeah. I'm going to sack him. I was being disturbed. Disturbed? Why? You are disturbed. <laughs> <laughs> what he was doing was um, making a silly video of the stooge for later on, is what he was doing. Weren't you? Could, could have been. Yeah. <laughs> you knew you were. Uh, making a silly video of the stooge. There we go. So that's getting in there nicely now with the 
furry bits down there. Then it's just a matter of layering this. Layer, 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 layer. That's all it is, layer, layer. So what I'll do is just take that out a little bit, just there. And move that down. You happy now? No, I'm just because I'm, what I'm going to do is come down here a little bit and then I'm going to go over the other bits. Because if you look, you can just see where we've added extra layers here over the weeks, but then this section is still quite um, fair right. and patchy. Yeah, although she does have a light bit on top of her head, we just need to still need to get like the, the bits that they've got in, like down here and whatnot so what i'm going to do is push that up and we'll get some of this bottom bit going in you can see it's starting with with this bit going in dark it doesn't quite look like just a head floating on a on a piece of wood at the moment so we we'll get that stop that floaty feeling and jimmy's got a good question for you go ahead where'd you buy your tips from um these tips are from turner's retreat but uh earlier i showed you how to make this particular tip with just these pieces of wire that come with the machines or any other piece of nichrochrome wire that you've got but yeah generally like the spoon shaders and stuff i'll buy from turners um i have bought some off amazon but the wire is a little bit thick and unless you want to run, uh, if you want to run your machine quite hot, which doesn't re give, really give you much room because you have to have them on at about eight, so eight or nine. So it doesn't really give you much room for going up and down, like the, the temperature gauge. So I'm just, I, I do use them, just a little bit wary of them. Well, not wary, just I like to use the temperature gauge. And Mr. Jamie Page has joined us from JP Woodwork. Hey, Jamie. I hope you're ready for later. <laughs> Have you decided what you're doing yet? Yes, he has. Yeah? Brilliant. Brilliant. I think this month is going to be a funny one. Have you decided what you're doing yet, Andrew? Have you figured out what you're what you're doing? So just layering, 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 layering layers. That's all it is with fur, is just lots and lots of layers. Get those in there. So it's starting to come forward now. I like that um, muzzle actually looks like it's forward by adding that bit. Well, Lucy said she forgot it was Dremel Show tonight. Ah, I just reminded you then. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be a silly one. We've got some extra special guests this week, this this month on the Dremel Show, and it's gonna just be fun and games. It's going to be a make it up as we go along show. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Who do we have? We have Andrew from AGK joining us. We have Jamie Page from JP Woodwork joining us. And we have Jigsy, John from Jigsy Shed joining us also. And they have been put on the spot with challenges that they would have never, ever uh, dreamt of doing. Um, the Dremel Stew just sent them stuff that they've got to uh, make things out of. And it isn't their usual style of doing things. And the, uh, I think the General Stooge is just putting their skills to the test. Whilst having fun, obviously. It's just all bit of fun. 
Yeah, so uh, Andrew says there's a plan, but you never know. One thing is for sure, it will be interesting. Yeah, you know, just have fun, mate. Just have fun. It will be. And JB Pye says, uh, if I was a smart man, I'd be offended by that. Being called extra special. <laughs> I didn't mean it like that. I just met special guests. Yeah. Mm, that's quite dark. So I'm going to add a little bit of dark bits just there because it is quite black. On that, just that little bit of muzzly bit there. There we go. Yeah, Andrew kind of... reckons he's got the worst end of the stick. It, it, it's always the best fun, though. I will say that we had no control of what was going out. I will tell you that. We had no control over it whatsoever. Hashtag blame Andy. <laughs> yeah, it was Andy's fault. He sent it, so. So just adding some extra layers. It actually comes down a little bit here. Just a little bit darker. So we're just going to. Add some extra fur in there. Just in the same direction. Make, oh, little, little, put my teeth in. Making sure we're going in the same direction as the fur goes. Earl said it was your idea, Kev. <laughs> Jamie said that then. <laughs> no, Andrew. Really? <laughs> Jamie's a. Yeah. No, he's learning, he's dropping me in it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, no, it definitely weren't my idea, mate. I weren't even in on the conversation, I was in the hospital. And to be honest, neither was I. No, he wasn't either. He was with the accountant, so. <laughs> Neither of us really got much of a say in that conversation, did we? But hey ho. It'd be interesting to find out what you guys come up with. Uh, just. Adding this in. That bit needs blending in a bit as well, don't it? Because that bit there is just a bit dark. So what we'll do is blend that bit in. There we go. But to look at what I'm doing here, but also keep looking up at the camera just to make sure it looks okay. Because it looks it does look slightly different on camera because the camera doesn't pick up everything. So that actually comes down to a point at about here. So I'm going to use the flat bit of this and bring that down just to get to that point down there. There we go. You can just see it start falling. Yeah. I think that's a good thing about this one because the shading bit is so wide on this. I'm going to use the flat of it. It um, pops up faster because it's, you know, wider. Yeah, you're covering, piece. You're yeah. covering more area. That's what I was sort of trying to say, but not doing a very good job at it. <laughs> not to jump in and save you. Thank you. <laughs> There we go. Uh, 
So that's going in nicely now. Still making sure that we're not putting any hard lines in because realism doesn't have hard lines. Still just making sure that we're shading and doing. So that bit comes down into that point there as well. So take that the opposite direction. There we go. And that comes around there just like that. There we go. So back onto this side here, that is actually quite rounded. So we're just going to take that bit like so and then bring it, drag the burn down in the direction of the fur. So this bit here that I've just put in, you can see it's just burnt a little bit darker than what I'd like. So what I'm going to do is just use um, circular motions to blend it all around. So what I'm going to do is, because this tip is going to hit the wood hot, and that's exactly what it did just there, what I'm going to do is blow the tip just as I go down on the wood. There you go. I'm going to do is just circular motion on that just to blend that in to the fur. Just keep blending it. it when, when you're blending it, it's doing it nice and softly, so it, it gives nice soft edges. There we go. And that's just come in just nicely. It looks like you're meant to put it in now. Yeah, and it is, it, it, you know, I I make mistakes just the same as the next person makes mistakes. It's just knowing how to fix them. Um, and you don't have to panic. You know, that went down a little bit too hot for me. But, you know, it's just showing you that, you know, how to fix them if, you know, that's what happens. It, you know, it doesn't matter. It's not the end of the world because you went down hot. Either scrape it away or you know just blend it in and there you go it's just blent it blended that in it's still a little bit dark but unless i told you you won't actually know about it really so this bit is a bit dark so i do actually want this bit dark it's really weird when 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 you when you want something to be dark it it um doesn't go dark quick enough, but then when you don't want it to be dark, it, it seems to like burn. You don't want it that dark that fast. So, <laughs> Jamie says, "Yeah, but your mistakes are awesome. My mistakes are monumental." <laughs> <laughs> oh no, so are a monumental um, mess up. Yeah, yeah, they just. We all make mistakes, mate. We all make mistakes with, you know, work and stuff. It's just dealing with it and just knowing how. I suppose, you know... Yeah, but Jamie takes a bit too much off a bowl. They can't put it back on. <laughs> well, I didn't put it back on. <laughs> I just blended it. <laughs> Especially because right the way through the bottom of a bowl, he's now flying saucer, isn't it? Funnel club. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Sometimes your bits of wood just want to be something else. Keep it classy, guys. What? You take everything the wrong way. Hmm, apparently. <laughs> I didn't think that was rude at all. Your face said otherwise. 
But I didn't say it. I didn't voice it. So actually it comes down to about there, doesn't it? Right. So let's get other way over here. So we're just putting a light burn, just keeping it nice and light because that as it actually is very, very light over there. Wayne Bigfoot says it's only a mistake if you admit to it. Otherwise it's an uncontrolled change of plan. Well, there we go then. Perfect. I'll take that way. It's a great way to think of it though, isn't it? So that on your camera, oh yeah, you can just see it, can't you? Yeah. Just going down there. Yeah, the camera picks it up quite nice, doesn't it? It does actually. I was just good about to say that I wasn't um, sure whether it, the camera was picking it up, and it might not look like I'm laying the burn down, but I am. What you do with this type of burn, this quick succession burn, is um, you're layering down like um, it, it puts a skin on top of the wood. So when you go over again, it actually doesn't burn quite as harsh as it does when it is just bare wood. It's actually easier to control your burns when you just put your layer, you, you like your skin layer down first. There's probably a more technical term for it, but I haven't got one. So just explaining it how it is or sort of explaining it or not, as the case may be. A bit like square round. Yeah, yeah, that's one. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's it, it is it's a square shape, but then it's got rounded edges. So that's the bit that I was trying to get. And the fur actually goes a bit darker, just just here. I think that's just there, like that. But I think more. Add that in there like that. I think you sent them all to sleep again. Nobody's chatting today. Uh -huh. <laughs> Anybody been doing anything exciting this weekend? I know what Andrew's been doing. Trying to fathom out what he's doing. No, playing with 3D printers. Oh, yeah. Is that one much better than Andrew? You're in quiet mode today. Yeah, I'm just trying to figure out these bits here. So I, I don't with these with these pictures, I do not practice them before I come live and burn them. This picture here I've never done before. So sometimes it's kind of like trying to figure out and fathom what to do next and then rein my brain in so everybody will understand <laughs> what I'm trying to explain because otherwise my brain just goes off on different tangents all over. So Alex says he's been playing with 3D printers and lasers. Nice. And Wayne Bigfoot says he's done sod all again this weekend. I hear that you fixed um, Valerie's uh, scroll saw. I hope you didn't get too much of a ear bashing for that. And uh, Huey says, is in the shop, continue my ceaseless quest for space and tidiness. Oh, gosh, yeah. I, you know what, mate? I don't think it matters how big you, your workspace is. It's always the same. Always the same. And you could always sort of go, well, I could do with a bit more space because I could just spread out and it'll just be a bit tidier. I could put things away. It doesn't happen. It really doesn't. Well, we've got a little bit tidier this week. 
That's because I haven't been in here. No, we're one band or less. Well, yeah, we're one band or less. And no. uh, Andrew says it's his new his new three uh, D print is awesome. He's been making more dragons and in multicolors. Nice. Well, <coughs> did you show me um, a picture of uh, you? Was it a blue dragon last yeah. week? Yeah. I can't remember if it was blue or purple. But yeah, you showed me a picture of the blue dragon last week. That looked absolutely brilliant. And Rob from Clean Spoiler Braces has joined us. Hey, up, Rob, how are you doing? Just talking about what 3D printers and what everybody's been doing over the weekend. I think Rob's been doing the same. Yeah, probably 3D printing, yeah. <laughs> I did see you've made something on the socials. And Lucy says, what have I missed? I'm assuming you've missed Kez trying to keep it classy. Uh, no, I've not been too bad, actually. My tongue might hurt from biting it, mine, but I didn't say it. <laughs> and so Wayne says, Huey, my workshop is that big. I can stand where the base should be and I can't see the size. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that was a great answer. <laughs> So it's like having the whole garden, mate. Yeah, he just hasn't got a whole garden roof. Yeah. <laughs> give him chance, give him chance. So just getting in some of these layers in on here because there's just an extra bit of a, a stripe going up and around that neck. Oh, it's not the neck, it's a chest, isn't it? Is up around here. And my pen keeps creaking. Old age. Overused. <laughs> <laughs> it's overworked and underpaid. Poor pen. Add a little bit extra in here, actually. I keep spotting little bits that I'm like, ooh, I need to put add a bit more in there, and a bit more in there. And then when it comes to moving to a different place, I forgot where I've where it was. Yeah, I forgot where you've got to as normal. Yeah. As you can tell, folks, Phil organizes me. <laughs> Attempts to. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, and Clive from Sinks Wall Arts joined us. Hey, Afternoon, oh, Clive. Clive, how are you doing? Um, Wayne's yeah. had a quote of £2,300 to bring in roofing sheets down from Scotland. Oh, Ouch. oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. That, that, that's steep. Or is it not steep? It seems steep for what it is, but it may not be in comparison to all the quotes that you've had. There we go. So what I'm doing is using the flat part. Let me see it. Let me see it there. So I'm using the flat part now, the long flat part, just to um, blend some of these strokes out that we did in previous weeks. Now, I do blend over the top of every single piece that I do because it just smooths out any of the lines that I've missed. But because we've already done the texturing, which is what the, all this is, is texturing, um, it keeps the texture burn marks in. So it darkens them as well as darkens the wood underneath. So it keeps the values correct. If that makes sense. Perhaps not, but yeah. You'll figure it out. Yeah, if not, just, <laughs> just, just ask. <laughs> I'll try and explain as best as possible. This is, this tip, well, this style of tip is one that I use most on all portraits. I can actually do a whole portrait 
with this particular tip. But I thought I'd start out with the spoon shader because generally, it, well, if anybody's burning along, which I know that people have been, um, it's easier to follow with the spoon shader if they've already got one and that they're used to the spoon shader. You know, if they're not used to using one of these particular tips, it's, you know, it sometimes can be a little bit tricky to get the hang of. So just blending in. And as you can see now, it's starting to look less bitty, which is the texture. That's all that is. It's just the texture of it. Fourteen minutes to go. Really? God, that's gone fast. I better get going, on not I? <laughs> what was the plan? You haven't done, touched that head yet. No, I haven't. I haven't. <laughs> Just been slowly working my way up. Okay. Yeah, you can see that coming in as you're doing it. Yeah, it would. Uh, it it sort of it it it's less harsh of a transition between the burn and the wood. Does that make sense? Yeah, you blended it. Yeah. Just doing the same up here. Just still making sure that I'm going in the direction of the fur. It's still important to keep that, even though I'm just putting a layer over the over the surface. There we go, just making sure we've got that in there. Just bringing that down. I say it does make a big difference just going over. I want to say with a blender, but it's not a blender, it's just, it, it, it you know. Going over blending, should I say? It gets even worse, doesn't it? What? First you're burning a puppy, now you're blending a puppy. <laughs> yeah, never mind. It. It's kind of hard to it's hard to describe it though. You know when you sort of because you you are burning it onto the wood. It's just how do you describe it? Would you use the word drawing? Not me. Mm. I was reading, reading comments. Yeah. Discussing the transport needs of uh, Wayne. Oh, for his uh, his roofing sheet, etc. I wanted to say wood then, but I knew it wasn't wood. Well, it might be wood, but you know what I mean. Why it's getting in my way. Yeah, you need to uh, move your piece down a bit. If you're right at the top end. There we go. Is that yeah. better? Yeah, that's better. So just keep blending. I'll drop my pencil now. So just. It's. Not very exciting doing the blending, but once it's done, it makes a hell of a difference on a piece. And then it is exciting. Keep banging my head on that camera. <laughs> yeah, leave the camera where it is. Yeah, so it, it, it does it does work really, really well. So 
so it's not so great and it, it, it's not anything to explain that's going to be like super duper but it just it it is exciting once it's once once all your blending's done because it really does sort of bring the piece to life Because that's the eyebrow bit, isn't it? There. Yeah. This bit here is a little bit dark, isn't it? bit there and then that one there is just that little bit darker too so I'm going to add a little bit extra in there just while we've got this going and then take it out there we go I'm bringing that down So it started to be a little bit more lifelike now. Is everybody ready for Christmas? Any kiddies, grandkiddies and that getting excited? Or even adults. I don't get excited too. You're ready mm. for the first time in years, aren't you? It's a change, isn't it? <laughs> it sure does. Yeah. Finish Christmas shopping before Christmas Eve. I will add, though, he only has ever has one person to buy for. <laughs> the most awkward. I'm uh, not most awkward. You know where the tool shop is. And Alex says, nope, Kez, bar humbug. Bar humbug, yeah, Phil's bar humbug too, normally. <laughs> and we know all Wayne Bigfoot wants is for Christmas is a new workshop. Yeah. I was introducing the kids to the um, Christmas songs the other day. Well, one in particular, the Slade one, it's Christmas. It's not It's Christmas, is it? What is it called? My brain's gone blank, so I can't give it correct. <laughs> but anyway, it's the one where Noddy shouts, It's Christmas. And I was uh, introducing the kids to that. They thought it was funny. Sneaks needs a Sparky for Christmas. Sparky. <laughs> Think he's workshop wide up. Yeah. Are you far off finishing? You got it's, much it's to do? He's his floor down. Nice. His walls in. Just his electrics now. He can start moving stuff back in. That's not too bad. It's nice to see the end, isn't it? When you're doing something like that. So just add in a few, actually I'm going to go on this square or corner and bring in some slightly darker sections in here just because that's how this bit of fur goes around the nose. That's nice, and we'll do it the other side as well. Mm. 
Mm. You've gone silent mode again. Yeah, I was just. Sorry, folks, you have to give her a nudge every now and again. She disappears into her little world. Yeah, sorry. You don't always, I don't always need to voice what's in my head. <laughs> yeah. My brain was thinking about Christmas presents and what had got to wrap and what everything, uh, uh, sent it off on a tangent. <laughs> you drifted off again. I did, yeah. Stay with us. Yeah. You've got four minutes to stay with us. Uh, sorry. <laughs> Yeah, my brain was drifting off as to what I'd got to do. I've got some uh, awkward older kids that don't know whether they're here for Christmas or at the in-laws for Christmas or what they're doing, and it's just like, I've asked them several times. Because I just need to know what how much I'm cooking. Because the cooking is the pain in the butt bit. Lucy says she'll have, uh, she'll have her new bathroom for Christmas. Ooh, nice. Sounds good, Lucy. Is that what Andy got you or you're getting Andy? Uh, just back to blending again. I think next week's Christmas Eve, isn't it? Ne yes, next Sunday's Christmas Eve. Mm, already. I know, I know. We will be... Less than a week. ...doing another live and hopefully see if we can get some more done and then the following week, maybe the last one on this. And then we'll move on to something new. Yeah, we've seen this for eight episodes now. Key finger out. Yeah, it, it is. <laughs> it is, sir. Uh, I challenge you, sir. No. Nope. To a burn off. <laughs> no. <Nope. laughs> yeah. Not going to happen. Why not? Matchstick Man and that really doesn't compare. Well, I can burn a Matchstick Man too. <laughs> yeah, I challenge you to a burn off, boy. <laughs> See if you can get it done in less than 10 weeks. <laughs> Rob says he's still doing the next one, Kes. Ask him for a friend. <laughs> yeah, shall we make him? <laughs> what, we're going to get him burning? <laughs> I forgot what I was doing there. Yeah. <laughs> Sidetracked. Yeah, I know. Yeah, you're wasting your time me trying to do the next one, Rob. I can tell like, people how to do it, but I can't do it myself. Weird, isn't it? That's because you haven't practiced. I reckon we should gain practicing. What do you reckon? What do you guys reckon? <laughs> he still hasn't shown me the one that he started um, while I was at Harrogate. He did start a wood burning. He, he had a go. Owen says, Carl can burn Christmas lunch instead. Don't think so. Actually, he doesn't generally burn. Oh, unless, unless you give him chicken and then my kids moan that his chicken is too rock hard. <laughs> no, they do, don't they? No, only one. No, Logan moans too. Yeah. <laughs> Fury says, not sure about the burn off, but working at a tire place, I can. Do a mean burnout. <laughs> Yay! We'll see. We'll, we'll have a look at one of those. Burning's burning. Surely. It's like the funny cars. Oh, Mama Sneaks and uh, Clive might go live Christmas morning Ooh, while cooking in a West Indian breakfast. Nice. What time? Just in case someone's all alone Christmas morning. What time? 
Well, you, you've run out of time. Yeah. Um, You're on overtime now. I don't get paid overtime. <laughs> We're sure, thank you. Oh, no. So, right. So, basically, it was just blending this week. Just blending that fur. And we got some chest fur in. So, let me just take that out and that is basically what that is looking like so as you can see because we've got the darker section in for the chest fur well that's more neck isn't it and then the chest fur down here it's now that the head is not quite floating on its own we've got some of the furry bits in on down here and then you've got like a it's a mid-tone, I suppose, here, and then light, so it looks like a wrinkle in the fur. Um, and that bit there for the where the leg comes in, because this, this area is the leg. So we, we did quite a bit, actually. So, but yeah, I mean, that's looking reasonably well. Um, mm, not doing bad at all. Yeah. So it's, it's now sort of like not a floating head on a piece of wood. We're actually making it look like a a dog an actual pet so but yeah it's just a case of keeping mm. going with the well i don't touch it from one week to the next so next week we'll be carrying on we will be here same time so lucy wants to know what a west indian breakfast is mm. well clive's making a way to see Ah, Rob okay. says he's ready for Christmas. Full set of screwdrivers, check. Super glue, check. Batteries, check. Headaches, yeah. have tablets, check. Bring it on. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's a Christmas first aid box. <laughs> or Christmas toolbox, isn't it? I've got to start building computers on Christmas Day, so. No, you haven't. You've only got to recase one. Mm. You haven't got to recase it, so that's not too bad. Not too bad at all. So. But, right, folks, that is all from us this week um, on this. We'll be on later on with the Dremel team and some extra special guests. 8 o'clock on the Dremel channel. That's the one. Um, yeah, and we're going to go and have some fun and games with the guys on there. So, right, that's all from us. And we will see you same time next week. Um, have fun. Stay safe. See you later. Bye.